All right, it is January 8th, 2009, New Year. Lots of good stuff coming up. Always is, it's exciting. Out on uh, another run, doing some repos. Running a little short on sleep today. Uh, thanks to work until about 6.30 this morning. Uh, got home just in time to shower, clean up, take the kids to school. And uh, now here we are, repoing. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my DVR sunglasses that have a hidden camera in the, right in the middle of them, which is a very handy tool for what I do for a living, uh, for a number of reasons. People lying to me, uh, taking pot shots at us, you name it. Uh, you know, they call up their bank and say, I never said that. and we email a copy of the video over to the uh, loan officer and they watch it and they see exactly what they said. You know, it helps them see, you know, what, what they're dealing with. And it, uh, in case after case after case, it shows that, you know, it, it just builds a relationship with the financial institutions and lets them know that, look, we're, we're not out to scam anybody. We're not out, you know, telling lies about people and saying, hey, they said this when it wasn't true. There's no... Uh, gain for us whatsoever and even if there was you know it's just good business practice not to uh, uh, do stuff like that anyhow this repo that we're coming up on right now is one that I actually found last night it's a uh, O2 trailblazer and uh, it's one of those situ situations where uh, without technology it would have been a, been a very difficult uh, repo we would have had to put a guy on the address and he would have had to watch because the vehicle was up on a carport and it had another vehicle behind it blocking it in and it was a single white carport so there was no option to uh, you know use go jacks uh, to roll it around the outside you know we have different options that, you know on different cases but there's these ones where for whatever reason you can't get to the vehicle and last night the vehicle was blocked in I was able to walk up to my unit you know see it touch it it was there I just couldn't get my tow truck to it and so what we do is we put a GPS transponder up underneath the vehicle and then we mark the vehicle, which means we put what's called a geofence around it. And uh, it, I, I can set certain parameters. And in this case, I set the parameter so that when the vehicle moved, uh, in other words, the car behind her moves and then she takes off and goes to work, it sends a text message to my cell phone and lets me know that my unit's on the move. Uh, you know, it, it comes in handy uh, so much, uh, saves us so many man hours uh, using technology like this. And uh, in this case, uh, the, the vehicle actually hasn't moved. Uh, I'm back up here in Salt Lake today and uh, I'm just going to do a drive by here because my unit's still in the driveway and I'm not sure if the vehicle that was behind it has gone anywhere. Uh, we're hoping it has so we can just back up and do a clean uh, pickup. So we're going to video this thing. I'm, I'm getting two different angles. I got my glasses on. Uh, so you'll see what I see, and then I've also got the camera that I'm holding, and uh, I'm going to put it on the back of the truck, uh, so you can see both angles. There's our repo right there, with the car still behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pull up the street here for a little bit. I'll pause the video for a second, and then we're going to decide how we're going to handle this one. We might go ahead and We'll check some other addresses or something. I mean, our unit's not going anywhere, obviously. Um, sometimes in a case like this, what we'll do is we'll make contact and just demand the vehicle, you know, request that they have the vehicle behind moved. Uh, you know, and the, the back in the day before we had the GPS and stuff, the risk of that was as soon as you gave away your, you know, intentions, then uh, the next thing that you risk is that they'll take and go and hide the vehicle, which isn't a problem now because uh, I've got it marked and no matter where she goes I can track the thing. So we'll pause here and then we'll come back on in just a second.
Carlos there. So we got it out of the driveway, had a little bit of a issue here with the uh, wheels turning. You can see they kind of cranked. So we got to get out our Slim Jim kit now and open the vehicle up and put a seat belt through the steering wheel so we can tow this thing and get it back to the dealership. That was a, that was a lot of work, but that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> 